Aloha, aloha, and good morning, everyone. Good morning, everybody. Welcome. Welcome to 40 Days of Prayer for the Prodigal. 40 Days of Prayer for the Prodigal. I am your host, Mary Elam. Welcome to day 24. This is day 24 of 40 Days of Prayer for the Prodigal. Y'all come on in. Come on in as I share to my page. Come on in as I share to my page. Welcome, 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 welcome. Blessings and aloha. <laughs> Blessings and aloha, everybody. Come on in. Hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord has made. We are rejoicing and we are glad in it. We're going to rejoice. We are going to rejoice. We are rejoicing. How many of you are happy? We have made it to what? Day 24. We made it to day 24, y'all. Listen, listen. God is great and greatly to be praised. God is great and greatly to be praised. Good morning, Rosalia. Good morning, Lydia. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, y'all. Go ahead and tag some friends, tag your followers, share the broadcast, share the broadcast, because today we are praying for the joy of our prodigals. Yesterday, we prayed that they would receive the Father's love. Aloha, Alicia. Yesterday, we prayed that they would receive the Father's love. Today, we are praying that they receive the joy of the Lord. Because how many know the joy of the Lord is your strength? Go ahead and tag some people. Share the broadcast. Like and share. I am just happy to be here. Today is number 24. I do not take it for granted that I'm alive this morning. I don't take it for granted um, that I am in the land of the living. A lot of people went to sleep last night and didn't get up this morning. I am grateful. I am grateful. And I will not, I will not, again, I will not take it for granted. I want to give thanks. Um, I want to give thanks. I want to give thanks. I want to be have a grateful heart. I want to give God, uh, enter again, enter into his gates with thanksgiving unto his courts with praise. I want to be thankful unto him and bless his name. Today, we're going to be praying for the joy of our prodigal. We're going to go ahead and go to our first scripture, which is Galatians 5 and 22 and 23. Come on in. Come on in. Y'all share the broadcast. Yes. Galatians 5 and 22 through 23. Because we're talking about the fruit of the spirit. It says, but the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such things, there is no law. Now, why does it not say the fruits of the spirit? Hmm. Why does it not say the fruits? Because it's more than one thing here, more than one thing listed, because they're encapsulated into the characteristics of the Holy Spirit. They're encapsulated. So they are all one characteristic, even though they're multiplicity of uh, 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 different uh, areas, they're one fruit. They're encapsulated in one fruit. Aloha, Miss Ida. Welcome. One fruit of the Holy Spirit. One fruit, right? The love, the joy, the peace, the patience, the kindness, the goodness, the faithfulness, the gentleness, and the self-control. So we are grateful. Good morning, Brittany. We are so grateful that the fruit of the Spirit has been planted in our prodigal because we are decreeing and declaring what we want to see. So we will decree what we want to see. All right. So our next scripture, y'all come on in, come on in. I'm, I'm going ahead and get started because I want, I want uh, to make sure that we are um, getting to the prayer, um, getting to that prayer point because many people, um, when they hear prayer for the prodigal, they automatically assume I'm going to go straight to prayer. No, I always do teaching of the word because I want you to understand that in order for you to pray, you got to have you got to have some word in you. You got to have some scripture in you because you want to decree and declare what the word of God says, not what you just your will, your will for the person or your will for the prodigal. What does the word say? What does God's word say? Because God's word is his truth and we're speaking the truth 
over the lives of our prodigals. We're speaking life over them. And the life is in the word. Come on, somebody. There is life in the word. I remember, uh, I call her Mama Joyce. Joyce Meyer used to have a program before she changed it over to Everyday Life um, to, to change her program. It, her program used to be titled Life in the Word. If I'm not mistaken, it was Life in the Word. Because <laughs> I used to watch I used to watch it when my babies were little. But there is life in the word. Yes, and so the fruit of the spirit is being planted in our prodigal. So our next scripture is coming from Psalms 30 and 11. And I love the Psalms because um, most of the Psalms were written by David and most of them were written during a time where he was in desperate, dire situations. And he was writing prayers. The Psalms, most of the Psalms are prayers. If y'all go to the Psalms, y'all y'all can pick out so many prayer points and pr things to pray over your prodigal. Just pick a Psalm and look and see what is God saying in reference to the situation. And so Psalms 30 and 11, it says, you turned my mourning into dancing. You loose my sackcloth and clothe me with gladness. You turn my mourning, hallelujah, into dancing. And you have loosed my sackcloth and clothed me with gladness. So if you if you know anything uh, um, about uh, 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 the early Israelites, sackcloth, and ashes were placed upon them. They would take, they would rend their clothes, they would tear their clothes, and they would uh, put sackcloth or just say it was like a, a a garment of mourning. And they would put ashes, like ashes from from fire, on their heads. And it was a sign of mourning. It was a sign that that I, uh, uh, they were sad. And uh, normally it was by death, or it was by someone had uh, had done something to grieve the Lord. And so they were grieved in their spirit. And because of that, they would put this on. Um, as a symbol of mourning, as a symbol of sadness. But the, the scripture declares, right? This is what the scripture is declaring. You turn my mourning into dancing. Come on, Jesus. And you've loosed my sackcloth and clothed me with gladness. How many of us want our prodigals to no longer walk around in depression, to no longer walk around um, in sadness, and I keep I keep getting um, these visualizations, these visions of of, of people having um, suicidal thoughts and suicidal mindsets and and depression and anxiety and all these things, right? And God wants to loose that off of them. God wants them to be free. God wants them to be free. He wants them to no longer um, um, uh, carry uh, uh, the sackcloth. He wants them to 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 be joyful. He wants them to know who they are in him. He wants them to carry the Holy Spirit, which is the characteristic of the Lord. He wants them to carry that joy. He wants them to carry the fruit. He wants them to carry the joy, the peace, the patience, the love, the goodness, the kindness, the self-control. He wants them to, that to be rooted in their hearts. He does not want them to walk around um, depressed and anxious and full of worry and full of de uh, defeat and, and, and all of these things because they are not defeated. They are not defeated. They are winners. They are victorious. How can you say that, Mary? I can say that because over 2000 years ago, their savior, Jesus Christ, Jesus the Christ gave up his life so that they could be free. And right now, they feel defeated. Right now, they feel in bondage. Right now, they feel depressed and anxious and all these things. And so some of them may even have suicidal thoughts. But we decree and declare today that they have turned, that God has turned their mourning into dancing. Their mourning is into, turned into dancing. And they have removed the sackcloth. And they are now clothed in the gladness and the goodness and the mercy and the joy of the Lord. Because the joy of the Lord is strengthening them to pull that stuff off, to come out. Come on, Jesus, to come out of that mindset of depression, to come out of that mindset of anxiety, to come out of that mindset uh, 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 that they're less than or they're, they're, they are their sin. The devil is a liar. They have been they have been washed 
in the blood. We decree and declare that they are washed in the blood of the lamb. Y'all share this broadcast. They have been washed in the blood of the lamb. The blood of Jesus is covering them and washing them. And so their joy is being renewed. I showed up. Not the old joy, but they have what? New joy. Joy unspeakable and full of glory. Hallelujah. Their joy is overflowing. Mm. Their joy is overflowing. Glory to God. Their joy is what? Overflowing. Hallelujah. Why? Because they know who they are and whose they are. Their joy is restored and it's made new. They've got new joy. No longer are they anxious. No longer are they depressed. No longer are they feeling downtrodden. Why? Because the joy is bubbling. Mm. The joy is bubbling forth. Hallelujah. The joy is bubbling up on the inside of them right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are decreeing and declaring that their joy is full. How many of you know, and I, and I just got this visual. I just got this visual of, of, of someone standing at a, 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 and filling their gas tank up with gas. Come on, Holy Spirit. You are so good. Filling up their gas tank with gas. And they, 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 they start thinking about the goodness of Jesus. And they're forgetting that they're filling up their gas tank. And guess what? That gas tank begins to what? Overflow. That gas tank begins to overflow what is overflowing is their their gas tank is on full it's no longer on empty some of us are walking around with empty gas tanks they're wondering why you don't have strength for today you're wondering why you can't go on to the next you're wondering why because you need to pull up to the supernatural filling station of the holy spirit and allow him to fill you with his joy come on somebody let's be Filled with the joy of the Lord. Let's overflow with the joy, the fruit of the Spirit. Let's overflow. Come on. Let's overflow. So we're speaking that our prodigals are overflowing with the joy of the Lord. That joy that, that removes the depression, that joy that removes the anxiety, that joy that removes uh, the suicidal thoughts and the suicidal ideations. And they're, and they're, they're, I'm going to say this too. And I keep going back to, to, my, to our earlier broadcast because, because they coincide with one another. I want y'all to hear me, right? Even though we're on day 24, you still decree and declare those earlier declarations as it relates to their hearts, as it relates to their mind, as it relates to their hearing. Why? Because we shut the mouth of the enemy. We shut the mouth of the enemy. They are his sheep. They hear his voice. We close the mouth of the enemy. We bind that spirit that wants to cause them to be depressed, that wants to cause them to have mental anguish and, 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 and suicidal thoughts. We close the mouth of the enemy. We shut him down. We shut his mouth. Hallelujah. And we ask the spirit of the living God to send angels to speak life over them. We speak life over them. We speak who they are not their behavior. We already talked about that. We speak that they are the righteousness of God. We speak that they have joy unspeakable and full of glory. We speak that the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, guards their heart and their mind. We speak it and it is so. We decree it and it is so. We decree and declare that they have the mind of Christ that they're covered completely in the full armor of God. They're wearing their shoes of peace. They're walking in victory. They're walking in peace. They wear their belt of truth. Hallelujah. I knew it was the reason I'm wearing the shirt today. They're, wa they're, they're, they're walking in their uh, belt of truth. They have their belt of truth around them to tell them the truth and not the lie. 
The belt of truth holds all of their weaponry together. They have the breastplate of righteousness because they're clothed in the righteousness of God. They are made righteous by the blood of Jesus. They have on their helmet of salvation. Their, their, their helmet of salvation. salvation is guarding their minds. They do not hear that voice of the enemy. The voice of the enemy is silenced today because they're wearing their helmet of salvation. They carry the shield of faith to, to, to keep every fiery dart of the enemy at bay. They put that shield of faith up mm. because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So every lie that the enemy would put up uh, that will come for them, they will put up the shield of faith and that shield of faith would block every fiery dart. I'm not going to believe that shield of faith is going to tell them. I'm not going to believe the lie that you're telling me right now. Why? Because I believe what God says. My faith is strong. We're decreeing today that they have what? Strong faith. Mm, share that ball, stop. They have what? Strong faith. Hallelujah. And then they carry the sword of the spirit, which is their weapon. Every time the enemy comes with a lie to try to steal their joy, he cuts down with the weapon, the sword of the spirit, the word of God. The word of God is sharper than any two-edged sword. It cuts to the bone and the marrow. Oh, God, we thank you that you're, sh that you're cutting down every lie that would steal their joy, that would steal their peace, that would steal their love, that would steal their patience, that would steal the goodness and the kindness and the self-control. We use the word of God. The scripture says again, you took my mourning and you turned it into dancing. Hallelujah. I'm removing the sackcloth and now I have gladness. Hallelujah. You took their mourning, their sadness, their, their, their mental illnesses, their mental uh, 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 things that's going on in their mind that don't line up with the word of God. And you turned it into dancing. You turn it into joy. When they have joy, they have strength. Hallelujah. When they have joy, they have what? Strength. Come on, Jesus. When they have joy, supernatural joy. Not joy that's fleeting, not joy that's temporal, but supernatural joy. They are able to walk out, walk out their purpose and destiny because they no longer believe the lie. If I'm sitting there and I'm depressed because the devil is bombarding me with all of the things that I'm doing wrong and all of the things that don't line up where my life is going, how my life, how I'm existing, where I'm at. I, I just spent up all my, my family's money. I, I'm, I'm in debt unto my eyeballs. I, I, I can't do this right. I can't do this. I can't, I can't, I can't. It's the lies of the enemy. And once the, the truth comes, they, they begin to open up. That's why we decree that they, that they are lovers of the word. They begin to open up the word of God and begin to read the word and study the word and ingest the word and devour the word because the word is what? It's the truth. They devour the truth. And once that truth is coming forth, hallelujah, their joy begins to bubble forth because they're believing the truth and not the lie. Hallelujah. They're believing what? The truth and not the lie. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It's the truth that sets them free. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Jesus. So God, Father, in the name of Jesus, we just thank you, Father. We glorify you. We magnify you. We stole you, Father. Hallelujah. We extol you. We lift you high. We worship and adore you. We magnify your name because you are good. You are good, Lord. You are good. And God, we come to you with hearts of submission, surrender, and repentance, Father. Lord God, if anything we've said or done that did not line up to your will and your way, your purposes and plans for our life, any belief that we've had against our prodigal, any things that we've spoken, any type of word curse that we've spoken over their life, Father God, we repent and we just come to you, Father, and we ask, Lord God, that you do a new thing, not only in us, but in our prodigal. Father God, we just create and declare that the joy of the Lord is their strength and they are being endowed with supernatural joy. Joy unspeakable and full of glory. Your glory is falling on the prodigal today. Your joy 
Your glory, your anointing is falling on the prodigal. The anointing, because it's the anointing that breaks the yoke. Mm. Hallelujah. It's the anointing of God that breaks every yoke. It tears down, it destroys every yoke of bondage. So God, if they're bound in, in, in mental pain and mental anguish, uh, the tormenting spirits, the, the mind binding, mind blinding spirits, spirits of depression, double mindedness, we say go in the name of Jesus. We said the blood of Jesus is against you and we decree and declare right now that they have joy unspeakable, that you've turned their mourning into dancing. Hiya, Hallelujah, we decree and declare that they will rejoice in the Lord always. Again, we say rejoice. Ha. They rejoice in you. They rejoice in the fact that they are free. They rejoice in the fact that the chains are broken, that they are no longer in bondage. They decree and declare the word, what the word of God says over their life. They speak life over their own self. They speak life over themselves. They are no longer stuck. They will no longer believe the lie. They will no longer believe the lie that they're stuck. Hallelujah. They are not stuck. Because whom the sun sets free is free indeed. And you are setting them free. You are setting them free. You are set. Everybody say it. You are setting them free. You are setting them free. Whom the sun sets free is free indeed. They are set free. They are set free. They are set free. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, we glorify you and we magnify your holy name because you are doing the things that you have promised, Father God. You are bringing water into the desert. There's water. Hmm that is bubbling forth in our prodigals, the water. You are giving them new wine. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And fresh oil, God. New wine and fresh oil. They are free. Yes. They are free to praise you. They are free to worship you with no pretense, with no with no hindrances, no distractions. God, they can lift up holy hands and say, Lord, I am free. Hallelujah. They can lift up holy hands and declare, declare over their own lives because they love the word. They speak the word. They pray the word. They ingest the word. They say the word out of their mouth. They share the word. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God, I glorify you. Oh, we thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. And they lift up holy hands. And they're filled with joy unspeakable. And they give you praise. They give you praise. Hallelujah. They give you praise. Oh God. They give you praise. Oh God. They give you praise. They give you praise. They give you praise. They give you praise. Hallelujah. Because they're free. Thank you for the freedom, Father. Thank you for the freedom. Thank you for the joy. Thank you for the joy. Hallelujah. Thank you for the joy, God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Mm. We praise your name. We praise your name. We bless you. And we praise you, Father, for everything that you're doing and everything that you've already done. We don't take anything for granted. We give you glory in the glimpses. We give you glory in the glimpses, Father. We give you glory in the glimpses, Father. We thank you. Hallelujah. The testimonies that have already come forth, the testimonies that will continue to come forth about the freedom that the people are beginning to see about the things that are happening, the things that are being shaken. There is a shaking that is taking place right now. There is a shaking. Oh, I feel it. There's a shaking taking place. Hallelujah. Even now, there's a shaking that is taking place. And God is shaking up some foundations. He is shaking up some foundations. Hallelujah. Mm, yes, God. Hallelujah. 
Glory to your name, Jesus. Thank you, Father. There is some shaking that is taking place right now. God is shaking up some foundation. Some of your prodigals are being shook even now. Some of them are being shot. Some of their chains, I feel it in my spirit. Hallelujah. I feel it. There's a shaking that's taking place. Go ahead and give God praise. Give God glory. Hallelujah for the shaking. Give God glory. Lydia, give God glory. Lydia, give God glory. Lydia, give God glory. There's a shaking taking place. Hallelujah. Lydia, give God glory. Hallelujah. There's a shaking taking place. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Jesus. We give you praise. Hallelujah. 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 Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, God, I give you praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. And God, we give you praise. There is no backlash or retaliation on this prayer. It's sealed with the blood of Jesus. We glorify you. We magnify you. Hallelujah. We extol you. We magnify God, I thank you. We thank you, Lord. There's deliverance even now taking place. Hallelujah. There's deliverance taking place. Hallelujah. There's deliverance taking place even now. Rhonda Tony, give God praise. Give God praise. Rhonda Tony, give God praise. There's some deliverance taking place even now. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. Mm. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you, oh God. We worship you, oh God. We worship you, oh God. Thank you, Father. Oh, Yabasina Yekai. Hallelujah. This prayer is sealed with the blood of Jesus. There's no backlash or retaliation on this prayer. It's sealed. Hallelujah. And it is so. It is so. It is so. Oh, God, not yet, but so. We pray right now for those who are watching live and watch the replay. Uh, you may be watching on YouTube. You may be watching on Facebook and, and you don't know Jesus. You don't know the father. He's not He's not Lord of your life. He, you have not surrendered fully to him. There are some of you who have not surrendered fully to you to him. God is saying surrender fully. Give me your heart completely, totally. The table is spread and the feast of the Lord is going on right now. God is saying come to me me come to me all that you have labored and heavy laden and let me give you rest let me give you rest take my yoke upon me and learn of me he said learn of me learn of me jesus Hallelujah. take my yoke upon me and learn of me glory to god take my yoke upon you and learn of me Give me your prodigal completely and totally surrender them to me. <laughs> you have made them your Isaac. You have made them your Isaac. You have made the prodigal, your Isaac, and God is saying, surrender them to me and let me do the deep work on them. And you just worship me. You pray for them and you praise me. You pray for them and you love on me. And I will do what I promise. Thank you, Father. I will do what I said I would do. No need to worry. God has your prodigal. No need to worry. God has them. Take them off the throne of your heart and give them to Jesus totally and completely. Thank you, Father. If you don't know the Father, if you don't know Jesus, the table, the invitation is here for you to come to him and learn of him. He desires a relationship with you. He desires to know you. All you have to do is say, Father, forgive me of my sins. 
I know uh, that you uh, want the best for me. And I know that your son died for me. I know that your son rose for me. And I give you my heart. I give you my mind. I give you my everything. I'm yours. Be my Lord. Be my Savior. After you pray that prayer, you are an absolute son and daughter of the Most High God. You are an absolute welcome to dine at the table. Oh, God. Mm. Mm. Thank you, Father. We thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Oh. Mm. There is, a, uh, there is a, a deliverance that is taking place for some of your prodigals right now. It's in their belly. I'm feeling it. It's taking place for them in their belly right now. It's taking place in their belly right now. I'm feeling it. I feel there's a shaking that's happening that's taking place. And you have to give them to Jesus totally and completely. Mm. They are his children. They are his sheep. He knows what's best for them. Glory to God. Hallelujah. When you surrender, begin to worship him, begin to praise him, and just begin to lay before him and surrender and say, Lord, I whatever the instructions, I will follow. Whatever you will have me to do, I will follow God. Give it to him and let him do what only he can do in their lives. God bless each and every one of you. I love you guys so much. And I will see you tomorrow for day 25, 40 days of prayer for the prodigal. Know this, that God is right there with them. You don't have to worry. He's got them. He has them in the palm of his hands. Give him total and complete access. Total and complete. I love you all. God bless you. And aloha.